All right. Hi, this is day eight of the Inkvent calendar. And today we have something that looks like it's going to be some sort of purple or violet. It's a standard, which means there won't be any shimmer, nor sheen, nor scent, nor any chameleon properties or dual shading properties. Okay, so let's go ahead and check how Jingleberry looks like. We are in day eight now. Let's go ahead and open this. All right. Ooh, nice. Looks like more of a pink, actually. Hmm, no scent. Let's go ahead and try it with a swab first. Okay, let's go and see. Oh, wow. It's more of like a dark pink, I would say, almost magenta. Let's go ahead and draw a line across. Let's do just a bit more shading here. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks nice. I like pinks. This is a, I think more of a magenta violet sort of color. Let's see how it writes. All right, let's go ahead and write. Okay, Diamond, kind of dark. And then we have Inkvent calendar number eight, 2022. This is called the jingle berry. All right, let's see how it looks. Okay, looks nice, very wet sort of color. No problem at all with the glass nib for this one. Okay, looks nice. Let's go ahead and draw a fake sort of uh, there. Okay, this is quite a nice color, not as dark on the uh, pen. Okay, but very nice on paper. Let's go ahead and cap this. All right, so far the colors are good for days six, seven, and eight. I like this because of the purple, blue, gray feel it gives. It's a bit too light for the workplace, but it's a very nice, I suppose, for cards and maybe for painting. Okay, this one is quite nice. If you like the dark green in the workplace, this sort of gives a little bit of a, a shimmer, even when you write the letters out. Okay, and of course, when it is a bit broader you see more of the glitter and finally today's jingleberry is a nice purple pink well more of a violet pink magenta sort of color it's standard let me just check it dries pretty quickly on this paper again the traveler's notebook paper is a bit on the absorbent side, I suppose you need it to be absorbent so that when you travel, you don't have smudges everywhere, much like what happened there. But I digress, the ink is still a tiny bit wet, but I think it'll dry pretty soon. Okay, so day eight of the Inkvent calendar. Thank you very much for watching me as I uh, sample it out for you. And again, if you would like to come and join me and see how we progress from this calendar to other endeavors in journaling, fountain pens, and ink, please remember to subscribe, comment which one you like so far. Let's just have a quick look at what I've had. Uh, I started quite late at day four, so this is what I started with. And this nice spruce that's a slightly brighter green than yesterday's alpine this was also scented let me try and smell it ah there's still a slight smell to it okay this was in day four so that was what four days ago that seems to be quite good 
And then you have the spiced apple, which I've seen in some to have just a bit more um, shimmer on it. And then, and I mean chameleon too, chameleon properties, and then the ghost, and then alpine, and then today's jingleberry. Okay, so let's see how the rest of these two pages unfolds. I'm very excited to see the other colors. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day nine of the Inkvent calendar. See you everyone. Thank <laughs> you.